Hi, so in our first video, we uh, had a look on some things on the basics so in the beginning things that's void setup and void loop, block one and block two, um, and only those things. So then I asked you, so why do we have to have two blocks? Uh, because we can write everything in one block, right? Simply, why do we have to have two blocks? Um, and also, I explained these blocks. Well, First block is uh, limited by these curly brackets and second block is limited by this curly bracket and all. So if you don't have any idea about that or if you don't understand this, I urge you to go and have a look on the first video and come back here. So now let's come to this topic. <coughs> so why do we have to have two blocks actually? We can write everything in one block, right? And we can uh, see the program running. The problem is uh, there are different purposes uh, we have to serve, right? We have to do. So the first block is for one purpose. And the second block is for one purpose. So block one is for a specific for a specific purpose, and block two is also for another specific purpose. So what is that specific purpose? Is the first uh, block one specific purpose is um, running one time. So what actually it means is. <coughs> So I also add this as a comment. So what actually is this mean? This means is if you want something to be running one time, if you want a code to run only one time, you have to write it in the block one. That means you have write it write it within these two curly brackets. So if you want something to run continuously, repetitively, forever, that has to be written within block two. So I will write it repetitively. Repetitive. Well, let's say repetitive running. Repetitive running. So this is why we have two different blocks so if you want something to run repetitively you have to run within these two curly brackets so you have only two options you whatever you want to write either you can write within block one or you can write within block two depending on the purpose of yours either it has to run one time you have to write it in void setup i mean first block if, if, you, if you want it to be running repetitively you have to run it within block two so block one is called void setup block two is called void loop so i hope this is clear so you may if i ask you something okay so what kind of things we have to do only one time what type uh, kind of things we have to do repetitively so when you go with the course so when you study the basics of programming with arduino then you will understand something some type of code so some part of code we have to run only one time that's enough and some part of the code we have to repetitively run so one time running is not enough for, for our purpose so that is why we have two different loops so whatever we are going to write we are going to write within two different loops so if you write something out of this any of the loops any of the blocks sorry two different blocks blocks if you write something out of any of the blocks that will not run anyway okay by arduino so either block one or block two we are going to write our coding so you can also consider this as two houses so this is house one and this is house two so these are the boundaries of the houses so so that's clear so in <coughs> for our for for a better understanding <coughs> Let's take our real uh, lifetime examples, which has to be within uh, block one, which has to be within block two. So let's say you wake up in the morning. So let's say I'm going to tell you to wake up in the morning in the Arduino's method or let's say in the way of Arduino. So wake up in the morning. So what uh, does it have to come within block one or block two? So you can think. So waking up in the morning is happening one time per day. So let's uh, think about a day. Okay. So it has to happen only one time. So it has to come inside block one so let's say waking up clear so what else so i'm saying to to eat take your breakfast okay so breakfast so that's one time right you are eating your breakfast only one time per day um let's say dress up so okay, you're getting ready for your school so you're dressing up so let's say this is also some one time action so what else uh, <clears throat> I'm writing it with commas because I want to uh, save some space. That's why. Okay. So what else run one time? Let's say having a bath. I'm asking you to have a bath. Let's say you're having a bath one time per day. So that has to come within block one. So then I'm saying, okay, walk, walk toward your uh, school. So take steps. So that is not a one time movement, right? You have to take repetitive steps. Maybe that is a limited number of steps, but still it is repetitive. So you can limit the numbers with some programming logics, but still it is repetitive, right? So if I'm saying you to take a walk, take a step. So if you write it within the block one, you will take only one step and stop. So you will not go anywhere. So taking steps has to come within block two. It's obvious, right? Taking steps. What else? Uh, speaking. So you have to continuously speak with people. So not only one time, speak. What else? Breathing. So you have to breathe forever, right? Throughout the whole day. So it has to come within the block two. 
So in real life, you see the real examples. So some things we are right within the setup, uh, or let's say block one that is called void setup, and something we have to do or we have to write within the block two that is called void loop. So I think you have got some idea of why do we have two loops, two two blocks, and why why we have to use them right efficiently. Um, and uh, these are real world examples, so this doesn't make any sense in car in the way of programming or in the view of programming. So in the next lesson, um, we will try to see some uh, concepts. Uh, real world, I mean, a real programming concepts so or programming language based uh, ways or examples where we have to use both um, blocks, block one and block two. So, which kind of which parts of the program should come within the uh, block one and which kind of uh, which part of the program should come within a block two. So, until then, bye, have a great day.